Lewis Dartnell, The Knowledge, How to Rebuild Civilization in the Aftermath of a Cataclysm. Embark on a gripping journey to rebuild civilization in the wake of catastrophe with the book summary of The Knowledge, How to Rebuild Civilization in the Aftermath of a Cataclysm by Lewis Dartnell. This riveting summary guides you through the crucial steps to survive and thrive amidst the chaos that follows cataclysmic events. Learn vital skills such as securing shelter, staying warm, finding clean water, scavenging for food, and cultivating your own crops. Gain insight into the importance of thermal energy, healthcare, crafting soap, and near-forgotten methods of timekeeping and navigation. Throughout this enlightening guide, you will acquire the indispensable knowledge necessary to rebuild a civilized society from the ashes. Surviving Catastrophe A catastrophe can result in the collapse of society. In such an aftermath, it's important to take the right steps toward securing food, shelter, warmth, and water. After a catastrophe, empty homes are a good source of shelter while malls could have closed that would last for a few years. As electricity would not be available, clothes are a more reliable source of warmth. Matches, lighters or a magnifying glass can be used to generate fire. In the immediate aftermath of a cataclysmic event, municipal supplies and supermarkets would be a good source of drinkable water. It's critical to store as much water as possible and keep it covered to protect against contamination. Water can be quickly purified by boiling it for a few minutes. Surviving on supermarket food the aftermath of a catastrophe can be chaotic, but with the right knowledge, you can survive for years on the food available in supermarkets. While fresh food spoils fast, there are foods that can last for years, such as grains stored in a cool, dry place. It's crucial to maintain a balanced diet and consume the food that will expire the soonest. Scavenging for seeds is also essential, they can be used to grow a garden when the supermarket food runs out. Knowing the composition of soil is vital for successful gardening. Ideal soil for growing food should consist of 40% sand, 40% silt, and 20% clay. With these tips, you can extend the available food supply and ensure your survival. Growing healthy plants. Growing healthy plants requires hard work, including breaking up compacted soil, controlling weeds, and preparing topsoil. To maintain healthy soil nutrients, rotating crops is crucial. Harvesting is relatively straightforward but varies between crops. The importance of charcoal production. In a post-catastrophe scenario, the production of thermal energy through burning wood will be a crucial step in rebuilding essential industries such as baking bread, brewing beer, blowing glass, and forging metal. However, for accomplishing these complicated tasks, burning wood won't be sufficient, and a fuel that burns much hotter than wood will be required. This is where the production of charcoal comes in. Charcoal not only burns hotter than wood but is also a clean energy source that is easy to produce. To produce charcoal, one needs to dig a large trench, fill it with wood, start a large fire in the trench, cover it with corrugated sheet metal, and put soil to prevent oxygen from entering. In a few hours, charcoal is produced, which will play an indispensable role in civilization's rebirth. Cleanliness for survival Good health care is essential to survival, particularly in a world without access to doctors. Keeping your hands clean and drinking clean water prevents most infections. However, dirty water is a leading cause of disease, so it is important to boil any drinking water that could be contaminated. You can make your own soap with plant material and ash. By collecting oil from plants and obtaining alkali from ashes, you can create a white crystalline residue called potash that can be mixed with boiling oil to create soap. Stay clean to stay healthy during survival situations. Staying healthy in the past. Medical treatment before modern diagnostics. Keeping healthy is crucial, but when medical attention is necessary, it's not always available. Enteric infections, such as cholera, used to be a significant threat, and still are in some areas. Fortunately, cholera is easy to treat, 
and the recipe consists of clean water, sugar, and salt. In the past, doctors didn't have the advantage of modern diagnostic tools. Instead, they relied on visible and audible symptoms. The invention of the stethoscope in 1816 was a game-changer and allowed doctors to hear internal body sounds much more clearly. This simple tool can detect lung disease and monitor a fetus's heartbeat. While modern diagnostic tools are extremely helpful, the stethoscope remains invaluable in the world of medicine. Timekeeping and Navigation In a catastrophe where modern technology is unavailable, it's crucial to learn old methods of timekeeping and navigation. Shadows can be used to keep track of time, wherein a long shadow means it's closer to dawn or dusk, and a short one means it's closer to midday. An hourglass can also be used to measure the amount of time that has passed. To navigate, maps and a compass must be utilized, with a compass made by rubbing a needle against a magnet, impaling it on a cork, and waiting for it to point north when placed in water. By mastering these old techniques, one can gain the ability to orient oneself, keep track of time, and navigate without relying on technology. In conclusion, the book summary of the knowledge it delivers unique and pragmatic advice to cope with life post-cataclysm. Dartnell offers practical tools and strategies to help you survive, find shelter, clothing, food, and clean water in a shattered world. Sustain yourself with the essential knowledge about securing good soil and diverse crop rotation, and producing potent fuel sources, like charcoal. Take back control by mastering hygiene, healthcare, and even manufacturing soap. Develop proficiency in traversing the landscape with traditional navigational tools, such as relying on shadows, compass, and hourglass. With these crucial skills in hand, you are now equipped to brave the unimaginable fallout and help rebuild a resilient and thriving civilization for generations to come.